the heart is an organ of endless fascination. The heart begins to function before any other major organ in the human embryo. In fact, the heartbeat can be picked up in an embryo that is no more than four weeks old. And from then on, the heart beats continuously and rhythmically throughout life. Given a normal heart rate of, say, 70 per minute, the heart beats a hundred thousand times a day. And two and a half billion times in the lifetime of a 70-year-old. And the highly specialized muscle, this tireless automatic muscle, which performs this miracle, is found only in the heart and nowhere else in the body. The heart lies in the middle mediastinum in a protective sac called the pericardium. The pericardium is a three-layered structure. The outer layer of the pericardium is dense and tough, inelastic and virtually non-porous and is called the fibrous pericardium. Within the fibrous pericardium are two further layers of serous pericardium. The serous pericardium, by contrast with the fibrous pericardium, is rather delicate and membranous. It has two layers which are continuous with each other. The outer layer of the serous pericardium is called the parietal layer and it is attached to the inner surface of the fibrous pericardium. And around the roots of the great vessels which emerge from the heart, the parietal layer becomes continuous with the inner layer of the serous pericardium which is called the visceral layer. The visceral layer is very firmly adherent to the surface of the heart and therefore it is even spoken of as the epicardium. Between the visceral and the parietal layers of the serous pericardium is a narrow space containing a thin film of fluid to allow the two layers of the serous pericardium to glide against each other. And this space between the two layers of the serous pericardium is called the pericardial cavity. Now let's remove the pericardium altogether, all three layers, and inspect the various surfaces and borders of the heart. The heart is in the shape of an irregular cone. One third of the heart lies to the right of the midline and two thirds to the left of the midline. The apex of this cone, the cardiac apex, is situated well to the left of the midline. Functionally, we speak of the right heart and the left heart. The right heart is made up of the right atrium and the right ventricle. The left heart comprises the left atrium and the left ventricle. When you observe the heart in its natural orientation within the thoracic cavity, you will observe at a glance that the right ventricle and the right atrium lie in front of the left ventricle and the left atrium. So the left ventricle and the left atrium are essentially posterior structures. And of course, between the right atrium and the left atrium is the interatrial septum. And to the left, between the right ventricle and the left ventricle is the interventricular septum. Now, when you look at the heart in its correct orientation, you will appreciate the presence of three surfaces. An anterior surface, which is also called the sternocostal surface because it is related to the back of the sternum and to the back of the ribs. An inferior surface, which is also called the diaphragmatic surface because it sits just atop the diaphragm. And a posterior surface. So there are three surfaces and three borders. A right hard border, an inferior hard border and a left hard border. On the anterior surface of the heart, it is the right ventricle that makes the major contribution to this surface, with the left ventricle and the right atrium making modest contributions. The inferior surface of the heart has just the right ventricle and the left ventricle presenting. The right ventricle makes up the anterior third of this surface and the left ventricle, the posterior two-thirds.
Turn the heart around and look at the posterior surface. You see that only the left atrium and a little bit of the posterior surface of the left ventricle appear on this surface. And nearly all of the posterior aspect of the heart is made up of the left atrium. You will also observe that the right heart border is made up entirely of the right atrium. The left heart border is made up mainly of the left ventricle, with the left atrial appendage making a small contribution at the upper end of this border. Your anatomy matters.